Don't fall, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Didn't fall down. Don't fall down. I dropped my Beyblades Sentry. Dropped my Beyblades Bay Sentry. Got our Funko Pops. Dropped my Beyblades Sentry. Welcome back guys, JB's Toy Trunk, JB in the house. Thank you again for clicking on the channel, clicking on this video, and hopefully you're gonna like what you're gonna see. If you did pay attention to that quick little intro, I did not do that. That was there. And it's a common occurrence at that Walmart. What are you gonna do? You sift through it and you try to find something new. This week's video is a, kind of spread out over a few days. And it, every time we went out, it was just really busy out. Um, there wasn't really anything new and different that you guys haven't seen in my video or any of the uh, other toy hunt videos that you've seen, not just on the East Coast, you know, down South, West Coast, and wherever else that, uh, you know, you watch toy hunt videos. So um, here we go. There's a couple Walmarts, a couple Targets, a GameStop, and yes... A Walgreens. Oh, don't let me forget. We also stopped in a Books a Million. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what you're watching. And of course, hit that notification bell. Remind you every time I drop a new video. Again, if you like the video at the end, give it a like. Comment throughout the video. And then, of course, uh, let's start that dialogue. Let's start that conversation. So without further ado, here's the past couple days of toy hunting right here in the low country of Charleston, South Carolina. So another wave of 411 Thunder, but this time you get the Ravager Thor. Coming home, dude. Okay, I wasn't planning on filming, but you guys got to just check this out. They got nothing but stuff here come on man <laughs> i'm not trying to tell people to do how to do their job believe me I've, I've worked retail i know what it's like but when you let when you just let it go like elsa where's my granddaughter give me yeah. some elsa let it go i'm pretty sure we got some ex walmart exclusives and some star wars in here dang it <laughs> I'm sure we got some Love and Thunder. I'm sure we got the new Motu wave in here. I dropped my Beyblades Sentry. Dropped my Beyblades Bay Sentry. Got our Funko Pops. Dropped my Beyblades Sentry. Got our Funko Pops. Mr. Sintastic. Got an Aquaman. Got your Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Moisturizer. That's for Marsha. Put that next to the pops. What, year and a half ago now? Batman Earth 44. Got Zod. Batman and two legs. We got a hammerhead. What else we got down there? Some wrestling. See a Woody bit? No, that's not a Woody. That's a Buzz from Lightyear. Super Shredder. Got a Hot Wheel. 1976, that's a great year. Man, I got the new uh, Wally World, Wally West. Got some uh, McMahon Build-A-Figure. There's stuff in here, I know it. It's like the whole hunt. Oh, there's your Lando. Fall down. Don't fall, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Didn't fall down. Don't fall down. What are you hiding? Joker. Joker head, Superman. See, hiding nothing. Mission Fleet. This is actually pretty cool. First time seeing this. 
little tech. Hot rod, another Lando. Sleep Walker. 1911, Landos. Leia's. Some Sonic. He-Man, Battle Armor He-Man. Oh, Thor Love and Th See, there's stuff in here, guys. Mighty Thor. I think some of you guys on the West Coast were actually looking for this. Sorry, guys. We we hope you see it soon. You might have to dig through a pile of this stuff. Some Ghostbusters. Blue suit. Still hanging out. Batgirl. Batman. Is this, is this the picture? Hold on, stop, okay. Is this the picture for I had that one comment calling me lazy because I didn't help clean up? Let me know in the comments. Is this what you want me to do? You want me to help clean you clean this up? Really? Thanks for calling me lazy and not wanting to help clean this up. Go ahead and call me Mr. Lazy right now because I ain't cleaning this up. that and my horrible mustache <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna really dig through this and see if there's anything you horrible mustache oh i found something sting sting two stings upper deck anna j look at that john silver that'd be crazy if i actually found a chase in here Cody Rhodes, four red pants, Cody Rhodes. AWs. All right, I'm gonna probably just dig a little bit more through this, guys. I just wanted to show you the, the awesome, awesome, awesome Walmart that we got here. All right, catch you guys soon. So this is how you walk into it. And then disaster. Should I do a short with this one? So the Funko and NECA is a heck of a lot cleaner and more organized than the to actual toy section. I would say, ooh, there's a, there's a Han Solo. This is the look that you have when you walk into this Walmart's toy section. Right there. Like, are you kidding me? There you go, Frank. My Hero Academia. Oh, I see some Coral Ponds and Jokers back there. Say hi. Dragon Ball, oh, some Spawn up here. Had some comments, please. A lot of you guys looking for this. Great wave. Some best action figures. Goliath. We actually saw Goliath back in that toy section. It's crazy. Hey, see Ma? His face is all mauled up. Oh, got a crow. What's up? Head sculpt is amazing. Body though. I don't know. Big head, small body. We got there. Got Mike Myers. Doc Brown. It. Pennywise. Terminator 2. King Kong back there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for this two pack, <laughs> Sake and Yoshi. Oh, I see some more over here. Got some Aprils, and Ultimate Aprils. Those knees. Got the Mummy. Player 67. Okay. 
Biggie and Hendrix. All right, guys, looks like that's it for this Walmart. Let's go see if we're gonna stop somewhere else. The scene is only seven bucks. The unmasked Target exclusive scene is only seven dollars. Pretty good. Division. Some clearances. Look at that. Stranger Things, three bucks. Oh, Ghostbusters tea, twelve dollars. Encanto, five ninety nine. Cool. Look at that. LeBron James Chase, twelve forty nine. But look at this. Yeah. I don't know who the guy on the left is, but the guy on the right, I think we all know who that is. Let me leave a note in the comments. Who's the guy on the left? Who's the guy on the left? Men to colored and black and white, colored Frankie. Part seven. Part two. Kind of turtles we got going on. Froggies. Oh. Ace Duck. Needed a man. Long torso man. Check that torso out. Huh? Oh. Well, thanks for trying. I didn't know you. I didn't know you were trying. Ooh. Keep seeing this one. It's a good find right there. Oh wow. Front and center. She's home. 5.39. Get your retro 66. Now these are the first, like first wave, second waves with the jams. All right, some older Joes, some older McFarlane, Spider-Man Wave, Blue Suit, Three Jokers, Transformers, oh, Bray Wyatt, oh, and a Honky Tonk. Honky Tonk sighting next to this guy. Oh, <laughs> hey, little Force Link 2.0 starter kit. I'm glad that's out. Any you guys look for that? Oh, here's some more. Yeah, come on. I think these are the new exclusives from the solo movie. Oh, yeah. Orlando. It's fancy right there. Some Star Wars. Pokemon. Fantastic Four. Some wrestling. That's about it. DD. Johnny Bravo. DD. Player 218. Anything back there? Candy Man and Jeepers Creepers, Kotokan, Joker, Liu Kang, Kotokan and Joker, 
Shop Khan. Got a Goliath down there. Halloween. Got some TMNT movie figures. It's the same. Doc Brown, Secret of the Ooze, Shredder. What do you mean they ain't got nothing? Come on now, it's the New World Order. It's pretty cool. And, and Lunchbox. That's how you do it. Those knees. Some Avatar, Biggie. Uh-oh. Here we go, Oleg. On its way. Here you go. This is, is this, I think this is the one Marshall was talking about. If we get the Pennywise, the many faces of Pennywise. Have the time. Got little Lionel Richie in the background. Once, twice, three times a disappointment. Yeah, well, House of X. Been seeing this a lot lately. Got X. Oh, bringing it back. Sasha and Alexa Bliss. Someone's gonna want those. Really cuz they both. What is this? Clearance. Storm Shadow, Scarlet, Snake. It's not a bad deal though. Love and love. I like them. Tried watching the movie last night. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually the benefit of the doubt guy. I'll watch any movie, give it a chance. It lasted about 30 minutes. It's walking dead. All right guys, that's about it. That's about, that's about it. All right guys, so everything is just pretty much fire sale. $5.99 for a red hood. The three jokers, I have the three joker collection minus the red hood. I'm not gonna get them just because he's $5.99 to go with my other three joker collection, but I already have a good red hood. I'm just throwing it out there. Cena is 50% off, 16 bucks, seven bucks. Batgirl for nine, Hurricane 10. Here you go. If you've been holding off on your um, Lion Shark, nine, $9.89. Eternals are all down to $6.89, $8.99. This is nuts. What are these right now? Monster at work, fourteen ninety nine. So. America Chavez coming at eleven forty nine. I think I saw Wong around here. Wong is eleven forty nine. Crazy. Is still at 29 20.99. Let's go check the mini NECA. Pretty packed on a Saturday. Oh, someone wanted to help themselves to a uh, Friday the 13th. Come on, guys. Fugitoid. Whoop. 
Gotcha. Gotcha, Daniel son. Got your back. How about we put you over here? What's this? Fugitoid. Fugitoid's still hanging out. Wolfman. TMNT. Some Pokemon. That's a good one. I like that right there. Let's see what else we got. There you go. So two Alexas. Two Alexas. Wreckers hanging out. There you go. Retro collection. Book of Tan and Armor. King Grey Skulls. Looks like four of them. Take her on clearance. Think or. We got two Tuscan Raiders back there. Always a good pull. Some more Wreckers. Triclops. Pixar. I think we're gonna get this for the granddaughter, just because. Check Marvel out. No Love and Thunder, but plenty of Eternal still on clearance. No new Joes. There you go. Reactions down to 12.59. I think I've seen other places down to eight something. And also the new wave has come out. So I'm looking for that. I don't know why. It's a trap. Oh, look. What is that? Oh, that is a Joker Titan back there hanging out next to a little cord. All right. And Marsha just said this pop is 30% off, and this is something to add to our what if pops. There's a Zola in there. You don't argue with your house commander. Transformers. RC. All right, guys. If you can't hear in the background, it is pretty crazy in here. Thirty percent off Funko Pop toys. Hey guys, thirty percent off Funko Pop toys. You're Chris Stapleton at thirty percent off. Did you ready to look up here? What else am I looking for? I'm looking for everything. I'm looking for a chase. I'm looking for this. I'm looking for that. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for the perfect pop for uh, Mr. Fantastic. Week two, man. I'm not gonna let down. <laughs> Marcia said she dug through all this stuff and we'll just take a quick, quick gander. Oh, Squid Game. Who is this? Is this player? Yep. Four fifty-six. There. Some reaction. Got a thylog. Got your thylog and baby toy. As you walk in, front and center. Look here, you. Who's back there? Ooh, Tebow. I just wanted to show you guys that. Yeah. <laughs> They're stacked. They're stacked and thrown on the floor. Akbar. So, well, there's a boss over there. I just stomp her. Ooh. Tony Stank. Superboy. Credit armor. Here's a Falcon. Two Falcons. Pair of Falcon. T 
TMNT Morphin mashup. Dungeons and Dragons. It's crazy. How come mine was 18? I don't know. Dustin Rhodes. 19. $20 Eternal figures. What a bargain. Got some, got some Iron Monger still hanging out. Cap and cap. Cap and cap. It's a good cap. So you gotta check your bam. Bam. It's your Yennefer's. Man. <laughs> wow. Um, so with Betty White gone, and this being a BAM exclusive diamond, diamond collection, what do you think? Is that a lot? That's a lot. Ooh. Infinity Ultron. And a crow. Pass on a crow. This is cool. I've never seen that exclusive <laughs> Gummy bear juice. Books a million. Stonks. Captain Marvel 4. Mr. Fantastic has that. Marvel Legends on sale. So there you have it, guys. Couple days of hunting right here in the Low Country. Some pretty good finds. Some plain stuff. A lot of clearance. And again, um, it's not just the videos, you know, you're watching with me, but all the toy hunters out there on YouTube, you can see a lot of clearance. So hopefully it's a good sign. But at the same time, you know me, guys, I am looking for that Star Wars. I'm looking for that new, new, new Star Wars out there. And it's really tough to find. Um, right at the beginning, man, I hate to throw trash at you, but that's what was thrown to me right at the beginning of the week was some trash. Unfortunately, that walmart is always like that but within that trash we did find a few things um we did find the uh mighty thor you know jane foster mighty thor really cannot wait until that movie thor love and thunder comes out i'm really looking forward to it and actually let me go ahead and backtrack that little clip was a quick uh snippet of when i found the ravager thor and um it was at a walmart that i just wanted to run in real quick and check and boom he was there so yes i had to grab him to complete the set so let me go ahead and show you real quick before i carry on with uh some more of the recap let me show you what but i did on this trip find ravager thor um this is an awesome hemsworth i'm thinking about getting two just for the head sculpt but of course it's like no we're, we're good with this guy right here he's got he's got baby groot in his hand right it's a tree but Stormbreaker right there. And then, of course, with him, I forgot what piece came with it, but I did finally complete uh, this version of Korg, the Build-A-Figure Korg. I'm really not going to do a review on it, guys. I'm just going to point out a few things with uh, Korg. A little bit different from the other one. Like I said, a little bit different than the other one. Size is about the same, but with the new Love and Thunder Thor, he's got like a, looks like a sheepskin type of, or, a, you know, like a coat on top of him. I don't know what he, it looks like the shoulder pads. Okay. You've played football like me, you know, shoulder pads. Um, he does have some good detail in the belt with the Ram and he's got some, some of that fur around his ankles. 
he does have a weird stance. I did watch um, MCU Collector do a review on him. He's, I mean, he's a pro. And he had the same issue as I'm having right here is his stance. It's just a wide stance. You know the dad stance? You know, when you get big and old, you're just like the dad stance. He he can't get out of his dad stance. And um, maybe over time it will work out and he'll be able to stand more upright. But a good figure. Not as much, I, I would say, not as much. Let me get a little bit more light in there. I kind of like the, the more details in the head sculpt on this one than this one. But of course, there is a significant difference in color. Um, meaning this is a little bit darker blue. This is more of like a cement like a sky blue and cement color to it. But nonetheless, both awesome figures. I was able to pick him up in the two pack for like, I think I got him on clearance just maybe a couple months ago. But then of course, with the build, build a figure, the new movie, we're gonna go ahead and keep him on display. We'll probably put him in the background somewhere. I'll probably put him in a cantina with all the other, with all the other characters drinking the festive beverage. So here he is, the build a figure Thor. Build a figure Korg from the Thor Love and Thunder wave. Going back to that trashy Walmart uh, on the other side, I did find a couple of the Cody Rhodes exclusive red pants, the hot pants Cody Rhodes. Saw some stings. That was awesome to, uh, you know, awesome to see there. Cruise on over to the NECA and Funko area. Saw a crow. So right down the road from that trashy Walmart was a Target. And that Target was busy again. A lot of, of the same figures and same items that we've been finding a lot of other targets. I tried to film. It really wasn't nothing new. I would have definitely filmed if I saw something that, you know, wanted to share with you guys. So leaving at Target, we went to another Walmart just down the street from there. And it had some stuff. And it had some awesome solo movie Star Wars figures. Just going to leave it right there, guys. It did have some uh, other wrestling figures. It did have a couple Bray Wyatt's and uh, a Honky Tonk. So that was good to see. But outside of that, there was really nothing different. Hit up another Target. Had some more clearance stuff. Some great Marvel. Uh, had some retro Star Wars on there. Had, I think it was the Armor and the uh, Bo-Katan. Uh, Kenner-inspired retro Star Wars uh, figures. Which are great, great uh, figures to have in your collection. Did... Walked by the trap called Super 7, the reaction figures, G.I. Joe line. They had uh, the Cobra, excuse me, they had the Snake Eyes uh, Secret Service or whatever it's called on clearance. I was trying to look at my peg wall to see if I had my G.I. Joe reaction figures on display. I did at one point, but I've covered it up with some Star Wars. Yeah, I'm a sucker, man. Um, I don't know why. I don't know how. I think I know why. I don't know. Looks like it's a trap. If you were to see in that video, I was kind of waving around a WD Ultimate. You couldn't maybe see it because you can't see him all the time. I give him a bunch of crap because I really didn't like John Cena. You know, when he was wrestling, I don't know why I just didn't. I get it great value as far as entertainment value for the most part this guy man he just always got under my skin him and like kurt angle let me know guys was john cena one of your favorite wrestlers or one of your like just wrestlers you love to hate but i did find him on clearance i don't know guys it's just like there's just that there's that one or two wwe characters or even like marvel characters star wars characters jar jar binks or G.I. Joe characters that <laughs> he just can't stand. After our little trip to uh, Target, we went to the mall. And in the mall, we stopped by GameStop and a Books A Million. Both of them were stacked. That GameStop was packed with people. You could kind of see me kind of shake and just trying to get that. As soon as we walk in, though, there was that big Platinum Edition, uh, the Batman Build a Horse Wave, the, the Batman Platinum Edition. And I luckily, I found him a couple times. Got one, he's on my shelf over here somewhere. And I was like, I'm good, leave it up front for someone else. Uh, so awesome for you guys collecting the Plat DC McFarlane Platinum Edition. Went around the rounder, had a bunch of Star Wars all on the floor, had some Marvel Legends, had the Falcon, you know, and the uh, retro Falcon on there and that, that awesome card back. Went to Books A Million and yeah, Books A Million, uh, good figures there, but you know, they're pops. Uh, they had some awesome pops. 
I could not go away and walk away without getting a Golden Girl, Betty White, Rose, Books a Million, exclusive, Diamond Edition, whatever they call it. Golden Girls fans, not afraid to admit it. A lot of our parents were. I was as a kid growing up. I remember watching it like prime time. That's how old I am. I didn't have to watch reruns, but I did watch the reruns and I'll still watch it if it's on. And um, had to go with Rose. And you Funko people, let me know, is this gonna go up in value? I already got Rose in one of those hard cases that I just had laying around. So um, I guess you could say on this trip, not a bad not a bad deal to only walk away with one Funko Pop, even though I wanted more like that What If uh, Zola Vision. I think, you know, the Zola Vision Pop. <laughs> and then, of course, getting a Betty White Rose um, Books A Million exclusive right there. So, yeah, guys, that is it. Just a couple days span of some hunts that we've done here in the low country. Trying to just bring it to you guys, that awareness of, hey, it's hitting our area. And yes, we're still seeing like things like the Titan Joker and Clayface, which I know some of the guys on the West Coast can't find yet. So hopefully soon, guys, you guys can, you know, get it in your hands and decide if you want to actually buy it or not. Um, and that's what this is all about, man. Just bringing you the journey. Like I always say, you know, always enjoy the ride because it's like, hey, you're riding with me. I'm riding on my journey to go look for some new toys and some new collectibles and you know, together as a community, we're, we're all sharing this together. So thank you to everybody who clicked on my last video where I made a fool of myself building the uh, NECA street scene diorama over there. I, again, I'm just throwing figures on there for now. I haven't really done nothing else with it, but uh, thank you guys for clicking on that. If you haven't seen it yet, put it in the description. You know, you're more than welcome to go check it out and laugh uh, as I try to build that thing. And of course, all the other videos, I truly appreciate you guys clicking on them giving me those comments and hopefully you know if you do like it go ahead and smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet you know go ahead and subscribe you know this is still uh, a channel in its infancy we are still just a couple months in it's already skyrocketing and of course I want to bring you know as many of you viewers along with this ride because it's going to be fun upcoming in let's say June I've been fortunate enough and been invited to go hang out with some awesome other i'm gonna say friends now of you know of me and my family uh, we got man cave collectible reviews we got zach jack dan we got mr Fantastic, we got the jersey geek himself and of course century the mad collector so hey i know i'm the rookie rents due i'm still trying to pay my dues guys so if you do like this video please go ahead and give me a like throw some comments in there let's go ahead and get that that, that chat going a big shout out to the local guys. You guys know who you are um, for hitting me up, whether you DM DMing me or go ahead and commenting on the videos. Uh, keep hunting, guys. You know, we're going to go find that stuff right here in our area. And then, of course, uh, to all the other subscribers and all the other uh, supporters of the channel, I cannot thank you enough for um, just stopping by to say hi, watching the video, and then, of course, getting that crosstalk going. So enough babbling you know how i am but always enjoy the ride guys thanks again for watching we'll see you guys next time peace